Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well in these uh, very special times, health-wise and economically. I know many have a hard time now uh, with finances, paying rents and so on, so I hope for all of you that works out well. I just want to make a video rambling about my work laptop. It's a Lenovo ThinkPad T495S, it's a 14-inch laptop, business laptop, and um, it has a Ryzen 7 3700U Pro, and I have been using it now for over a month. I use it for coding, mostly web design, Java, and uh, yeah, I want to talk about it. So, maybe the first thing I can tell is that it's very well built. I think I've never seen an AMD laptop that is built that good. Like most ThinkPads, it has a very cool keyboard. Well, that's uh, probably subjective, but I really love ThinkPad keyboards. Um, so, it has a bright enough screen. You can work outside. It could be brighter, but I've seen much worse before, so that is good. The battery life while working is about six or seven hours, meaning screen brightness is almost a max. And uh, using Wi Fi streaming in the background, let's say YouTube or Spotify, so it's like seven, six hours, which is very nice. I think I've never seen an AMD laptop with that a good uh, battery life. In reviews I read about this laptop, there was the issue that the fan is loud and annoying. Um, this has been improved with a new BIOS, with, a, with some BIOS fixes, I don't know really the version. And you can also eliminate it by choosing a proper Lenovo power plan profile, which on the downside clocks the CPU lower so the performance is lower but also but battery life is up so yeah anyway all in all I have to say it's one of the it's the best laptop with an AMD chip I've ever, ever had it's not that fast at least for the tasks I'm using it I have to say I was uh, happier with some Intel laptops in the past um, this laptop model is, is about $1,300, it has a 4G chip in it, this model had 16 gigs of RAM in it, and uh, yeah, maybe, let's look inside. What I like about Lenovo laptops is that they are very well maintainable, oh, Lenovo ThinkPads, the other ones are not that great. And they have very good bio support, so they fix a lot of things, even minor issues with a lot of BIOS revisions. Yeah, let's look, at, look inside. There is a very fast Samsung NVMe drive. We have, the, we have a very good Intel network uh, Wi-Fi chip. And under this plate is the 4G chip, 4G mode, modem. What's positive is that the heat pipe is pretty thick. I saw in the past that many cheaper AMD laptops they come like with a half as thick heat pipe and the cooling is miserable. Yet I have to say that the laptop gets very hot. If you have it on your on your lap, it's like almost that it's yeah, you almost get burned, so that's not that cool. Um what I wanted to do is have a look under the heat pipe. Um, the uh, what is the proper term? Ah, the thermal paste. How the thermal paste was applied, and maybe I will reapply some Arctic uh, silver thermal paste on it. So let's see. Anyway, it's a, it's still a very good laptop. It's the best AMD laptop I've ever had, but I would say it's not good enough yet. Um, I really hope that with Renoir, 
so send to the the laptops will be fast enough and have a better power management so we uh, get proper performance so let's see how it looks under the hood looks pretty okay it's not too much thermal paste it was pretty good now that I uh, removed the heat, heat pipe I will reapply the, uh, the thermal paste anyway yeah that was just some ramblings I used it now for over a month it's a good laptop it's fast enough not as fast as I hoped it's well built the screen is good it could be brighter the battery life is good it could be better so it's there's not a there's a, it's almost it's almost a perfect laptop almost there are some things that have to be improved I hope with Renoir that happens yeah so for now uh, stay safe I hope you're all doing well and that the pandemic goes away quickly enough that we all have jobs and income. See you.